Do you know what the GPT in chat GPT stands for? Greg, what do you think the GPT in chat GPT stands for? Oh, that's easy. Granny's party tonight. Good guess, Greg, but it actually stands for generative pre-trained transformer. I'll quickly break down what that means. Generative refers to generative AI, the type of artificial intelligence that powers ChatGPT. Most forms of AI analyze existing content and give you analytics or other data around it. Generative AI, on the other hand, creates content on the fly, such as essays, answers, and artwork. I actually have a video about the difference between analytical AI and generative AI pinned to the top of my profile. The P in GPT stands for pre-trained. With most AI models, you have to first train your AI before you can use it. Not with ChatGPT, though. It's been pre-trained by 175 billion machine learning parameters, making it ready to create a paper or a blog post completely out of the box. No training required. So if you want to make a new AI that could decide if something is a duck or a squirrel, you would have to upload thousands of images and squirrels and tell the machine which is a duck and which is a squirrel. Eventually, a good machine learning AI model starts to recognize that some things are ducks and some things are squirrels and that ducks have specific features like web feet or feathers. But with ChatGPT, the hard work of training the AI is already done for you. The sheer size of its training is part of why it is so good at sounding human. The T in GPT actually stands for transformer, and it's a type of neural network model that ChatGPT uses to so quickly come up with responses. It mimics the human brain in terms of how neurons communicate with each other so quickly. The transformer model has been a big step forward for the artificial intelligence field. Now you know what GPT stands for. Feel free to quiz all of your friends. And follow me if you want to learn more about AI, new AI tools, and other awesome technologies.